Are you tired of feeling insecure and lacking in self-confidence? It's time to turn that around and start building the self-worth you deserve. By working on your self-worth, you can gain a sense of self-assurance and belief in yourself that will serve you well in all areas of your life. Imagine being able to approach challenges with courage and resilience, set and achieve goals with determination, and build healthy, fulfilling relationships. It may not be an easy journey, but the rewards of strong self-confidence and self-worth are well worth the effort. So if you're ready to take the first steps towards a more confident you, our videos are here to guide and support you on your journey. As someone who has struggled with negative thinking in the past, I know firsthand how damaging it can be. It's easy to get stuck in a cycle of negative beliefs about ourselves, and it can be hard to break free. But by challenging this, we can start to develop a more positive and healthy self-image. For me, this has involved becoming more aware of my thought. When I catch myself having a negative thought, I try to evaluate its accuracy and come up with an alternative, more positive perspective. It's not always easy, and I don't always get it right. But with practice, I've been able to challenge my negative thinking and develop a more healthy view of myself. If you are struggling with this, I encourage you to give it a try. It's not always easy, but it is worth it. So be patient with yourself and keep at it. You'll be amazed at the difference it can make. To question your beliefs about yourself, start by becoming aware of your thought patterns and the beliefs that underlie them. Pay attention to the things you tell yourself about yourself and write them down. Evaluate each belief for accuracy and helpfulness. Does it serve you well or hold you back? Be kind and non-judgmental with yourself as you question your beliefs. It's not about eliminating all negative beliefs, but rather finding balance and challenging unhelpful or unrealistic ones. This will help you develop a more accurate and positive view of yourself. Our beliefs about ourselves can have a huge impact on how we see the world around us. If we have negative or limiting beliefs, it can be difficult to make positive changes in our lives. On the other hand, having a positive and empowering view of ourselves can give us the confidence and motivation to improve our circumstances. To explore your beliefs about yourself, first ask some questions. What do you believe about your abilities and potential? Do you have a generally positive or negative view of yourself? Are there any specific beliefs that are holding you back? It can also be helpful to consider how you think other people see you. Make a list of your positive qualities and accomplishments to focus on your strengths. Seek out opportunities to use your strengths and learn in areas where you are already skilled. By acknowledging and exploring your beliefs about yourself, you can gain a deeper understanding of who you are and what you are capable of. As you work on building your self-esteem, it's important to remember to be kind and compassionate with yourself. It's easy to be hard on ourselves and to focus on our weaknesses or mistakes, but this can be damaging to our well-being. I've found it helpful to speak to myself in a kind and compassionate way and to remind myself that I am worthy of love and respect. It's made a big difference in how I feel about myself and how I approach challenges and setbacks. Treating yourself to something special can be a great way to reward yourself for your hard work and to boost your mood. It's important to choose treats that are meaningful and will make you happy rather than just buying something for the sake of it. It can be anything from a new pair of shoes to a massage or a special meal. Just make sure it's something that you really want and that you can afford. Treating yourself once in a while can be a fun and enjoyable way to celebrate your achievements and take care of yourself. You deserve it. If you're looking to improve your mental health, consider giving mindfulness a try. Mindfulness involves being present at the moment, paying attention to the world around you, and being aware of your body and its sensations. There are many ways to practice mindfulness, such as through meditation or yoga. By focusing your attention on the present moment and letting go of distracting thoughts, you can learn to quiet your mind and reduce stress and anxiety. Give this tip a chance and discover the positive benefits it can bring to your life. Using positive affirmations and engaging in positive self-talk can be a powerful tool. These are statements that you repeat to yourself in order to challenge and overcome negative thoughts. For example, you might say to yourself, 
I am worthy and deserving of love and respect. Or, I am capable and confident in my abilities. Repeat these affirmations to yourself regularly, especially when you are feeling down or unsure. Over time, they can help to rewire your brain and build a stronger foundation of self-confidence. You also have to think about it. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will either. And that's absolutely true. Believing in yourself and your abilities is an essential part of achieving your goals. On the other hand, if you lack self-confidence, you may hold yourself back and miss out on opportunities for growth and success. It's okay to make mistakes or have moments of self-doubt, but it's important to remember to focus on your positive qualities and progress rather than dwelling on flaws or negative thoughts. Are you ready now to build your self-confidence? Listen, this is the most important part. First, you have to know your worth, values, skills and goals. Then, reflect on your values and what is important to you. What do you believe in and stand for? What are your priorities and goals? Another is to take inventory of your skills and abilities. What are you naturally good at? And last but not least, set clear and specific goals for yourself. What do you want to achieve in the short term and long term? What steps will you take to reach those goals? Know your limits and be honest with yourself about what you are willing to do to reach your goals. It's important to set realistic expectations and boundaries for yourself. Do you truly accept yourself? Be honest. Self-acceptance involves looking at yourself honestly and embracing who you are, your flaws and all. It means being kind and compassionate towards yourself and treating yourself with the same care and respect that you would show to a friend or loved one. This includes accepting your imperfections and weaknesses as well as your strengths. Have you ever thought that there is a mistake in your approach? Setting realistic expectations for yourself is an important part of avoiding disappointment. When you set unrealistic expectations, you may set yourself up for failure and feel discouraged when you don't meet those. On the other hand, when you set realistic ones, you give yourself a better chance of success and can feel more confident in your abilities. For example, think about what are you realistically capable of achieving given your current level? And also, are you willing to put in the necessary work to achieve what you want? Only you think everyone else is perfect. It's only in your mind. Allow yourself to be imperfect and don't be too hard on yourself. Let's see what to do first. Don't compare yourself to others. Everyone has their own journey and pace, and it's important to focus on your own progress and growth. Take it easy, my darling. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are a natural part of learning and growing, and it's okay to make them. And this, this is what you have to always remember. Never give up. Do you hear me? Don't give up when you make a mistake. Instead, use it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Are you tired of feeling stuck in your comfort zone, unable to take risks or pursue your dreams? It's time to face your fears and step out of your comfort zone. Stepping out can be scary, but it's also an incredibly powerful way to build self-esteem. But as always in your healing journey, you need to do it wisely. Okay, let's see how. Start small. Choose a manageable challenge or activity that scares you and work your way up from there. Prepare and plan to help you feel more confident. And don't forget this part. Find a support system. Seek out friends or loved ones who can encourage and support you. Last but not least, reflect on your progress. Take time to celebrate your achievements and reflect on what you've learned from your experiences. Well, how does it sound so far? I know you can do it. Now it's time for you and others to believe it. One of the keys to building self-confidence is surrounding yourself with supportive, encouraging people. These are the people who believe in you and your potential and who lift you up when you're feeling down. They are the ones who provide encouragement and motivation and who celebrate your achievements. On the other hand, it's important to be cautious of people who are negative or critical as they can bring you down and erode your self-confidence. Avoid spending too much time with these people and seek out those who are positive and supportive instead. It's also important to be aware of people who may be envious or jealous of you. 
These people may try to bring you down or undermine your achievements in order to feel better about themselves. Be careful not to let their negativity affect you. And remember that you don't have to please everyone or agree with everyone in order to be successful. Finally, remember that you don't have to do everything everyone else does in order to be happy and fulfilled. It's important to find your own path and do what feels right for you. I'm pretty sure you are tired of feeling insecure and always listening to someone else's advice for your problems. It's time to turn that around and start building the self-worth you deserve. By working on your self-confidence and self-worth, you can gain a sense of self-assurance and belief in yourself that will serve you well in all areas of your life. Imagine approaching challenges with courage and resilience, setting and achieving goals with determination, and building healthy, fulfilling relationships with confidence. It may not be an easy journey, but the rewards of strong self-confidence and self-worth are absolutely worth it. Remember, building self-esteem takes time and effort, but it's worth it. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more, be sure to check out our other videos on the channel. We are always posting new content to help you become the best version of yourself. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.